You're right, everyone, it's Asher here from Romany Custom Catapults. Hope everyone's well. So, as you can see, I've got a very nice build to show you all here. Now, before we start, we'll talk about that material on the top. It's a fat carbon material called, I think it was Jungle Camo. That makes sense, I suppose, with the colours. Now, I've owned this piece of material for a considerable amount of time, months and months and months, but I've not found a build I really want to use it on. So, a customer came along who's a repeat customer, a friend of mine, uh, and he let me just kind of go with it. And I've come up with this, and I don't think I could have paired the material any better. I mean, I think I've absolutely nailed the scheme. But I'll show you all the build, and then you can tell me what you think. Firstly, we'll go in with the back. Now, we've got Forest Green G10. Now, this, this build is a six-layer build, and each layer had to be glued separate. So you've got, I'll just go through, through it with you. Three mil forest green carbon, uh, forest green G10. Then we have a liner, but it's a three piece liner, yellow G10 at the top, black G10 in the middle, which you can barely, you can just about see those three layers in the, in the middle and then yellow at the bottom. So once that was shaped in, then we went in with a three mil G10 black and then in the middle and at the bottom, yellow spaces. And then the next liner is a repeat of the first one. Now, this creates a boxed off effect, which is extremely difficult to get correct. Very difficult, but I'm happy with it. It looks different. It's good. Next layer, forest green G10. So it all matches in. And then the face, as you can see, is this camo. Now, I'm going to let you have a good look. This uh, light, as I've said before, it's the first time I've used this photo booth for videos and pictures. It's unforgiving, but I don't mind. I mean, the colour changes, look. Very, very cool material. Very, very cool. Carbon pins. I three-quartered the pins because this material can get a bit flaky. Uh, I know that through drilling the, the holes there and uh, it can push it out. Now, I, could, I can get it off the clips, no worries. On this face, I might have had to, it, it might have been perfect. And then again, I might have had to take a lot off the face to get rid of the, the flaking around the pins. So uh, I went with three quarter pins. I think it looks better as well. It's not disturbing the pattern in any way. I'm, I'm kind of liking three quarter pins at the minute, to be fair. I love the lines and the colours down the sides. I mean, it looks cool. Slanted tips. This is a juvenile build. Uh, juvenile Velo Velociraptor OTT. Uh, it's actually my style of juvenile. It's a tiny bit different. Uh, the... I've lost my train of thought. The custom dimensions are 79 mil, believe it or not. Very unique. 23 mil tips, I believe. Now... This is the one thing on this build that I would like to have got better. I mean, normally I moan about whiting around the pins, but I nailed it on this build. It went really well for me. But that liner there has just pushed out. That spacer, sorry. Now, it's not a glue mark underneath. It's actually the liner. Now, obviously, I've done a dry run of this build. And uh, I put it all together dry, and it was perfect. So it must have just slipped under the, under the, the glue clamps spring clamps i don't know at the end of the day there's nothing for me to learn from it it's, it's not a mistake it's just something that's happened uh i did everything as i should have done it the only other way i could have done it different i suppose is held it with my hands all together and eyed it up for half an hour to make sure it didn't move but clearly the whole thing slid a tiny little bit a half a millimeter is all it is but it's annoying but it is what it is it can't be changed and like i say uh, it's not really a fault of mine. It's just one of them things that happens when you're hand building stuff. Well, I'm a hand craftsman, so little things will show, and that's that. But in general, I'm over the moon with the build. I love it. Absolutely love it. I mean, I didn't need to mention that to you either. I could have thumbed it and showed you the build and not, not done it, but I'm not like that. I'd, I've acknowledged it's something I would have liked better, so I'll tell everyone else. Also, if you don't acknowledge things like that, you're never going to improve. I see so many builders now putting stuff out, people praising them on their builds. Oh, it's brilliant, blah, blah, blah. And there's loads of deep scratches in the metal cores and stuff like that. Yeah, you can see it on the, on the camera. If I can see it, others can, and the builder can. 
So that builder surely should be acknowledging them scratches and saying, that's not good enough. I'm not putting that out. Do you know what I mean? If there's a scratch in the sides of this, they don't have to be there. You can work them out. It's not a mistake that needs to, you know, it's not a mistake. It's just sloppy. Sloppy simple as that. Now, I get there's a price for everything. I mean, if they're not charging the, the hundreds of pounds that I'm charging, then I suppose it, it, it's acceptable. But some of them are. And if I'm honest, when I first started doing Stanley builds, I was knocking them out for 120, 130, like really, really cheaper. Nowadays, I want 250, 300 quid for builds like that. And even at 120, 130, I wanted to get them scratches out. I, I, I don't see how someone can build something and say, well, I'm only charging him 100 quid for it. So the scratches are allowed. They're not allowed. They're never allowed. It's up to you whether you want to undercharge or overcharge. But, you know, that's my little rant anyway. I hope you all like this build. Like I say, I love it. Be interesting to get your opinions. We have the matching bead, obviously. I like this angle. How cool does that look there? So many different pieces on this build. I'm not going to bother counting them. But there's a lot. Yeah, I counted them. There's about 20 pieces, 19, 20 pieces. Cheers all and thanks for watching. And I will be back soon with more fancy builds. But I hope you all like that one. Jungle Camo Raptor. Cheers all and thanks for watching.